Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Wow. You know, in the last few years, we've been seeing companies buy out other companies. The way Disney bought out Fox. Then you had AT&T buy up Warner Brothers. And now, we see that MGM looks for a buyer. Studio behind James Bond, Rocky and more is now on the market. One of the most prestigious studios that Hollywood's ever seen to this very second is up for sale. Just to go along with what's going on in the theaters and everything else. This is not good. This is not good just for the simple fact that with these studios buying each other up. You know, the less competition there is on the market of movie making and, you know, in television, it's the less competition that we'll see. It's like basically we see the best come out of these studios when they're going against each other to bring out the best for us. But then when all the properties are under one studio, then where's the competition at? It's just uh it's just a weird thing that's going on right now. And what it says here is a little more than a year ago when Bob Iger was CEO of Disney, the executive mentioned the James Bond franchise as something he'd be interested in purchasing, as the media company has been known for buying up rival studios and franchises. At the time, Bond wasn't for sale, but now with MGM exploring the possibility of being purchased, maybe new, D maybe new Disney CEO Bob Chapek should get on the phone. Bob, don't get on the phone. We don't need you or your company buying up shit right now. According to the Wall Street Journal legendary studio, MGM has hired two banks, Morgan Stanley and Lion Tree LLC, to begin the process of finding a buyer for the studio and its massive library of TV and film content. And yes, that includes the James Bond franchise. Shit. Well, I can't see, I really can't see another studio running James Bond. Yeah. And we never thought we'd see a company buy out Fox either. Shit. The report claims the studio is currently valued at around $5.5 billion but there is a thought that companies are so desperate for streaming content, we could be looking at a sale that is even higher than that number. Shit, that's a lot of fucking money. In addition to Bond, MGM is also the studio behind content such as the Rocky franchise, The Handmaid's Tale, Silence of the Lambs, Dances with Wolves, Rain Man, The Terminator, The Hobbit, Robocop, Stargate, Legally Blind, and Vikings just to name several all told the studio has a film library of over 4,000 titles and 17,000 hours of television programming yes those are the type of numbers that will have anyone with a streaming platform such as folks like Disney Apple Amazon and Warner Media take notice yeah yeah they have they have the goods basically one of these corporations has five to six billion to pay for this. I just wonder why MGM is, is so hard up to, to be bought out. I mean, you know, I don't, I haven't looked into their history to understand what has gotten MGM to this point, but shit, they have so much behind them that why would they be up for sale when they have franchises that Fox or Disney or Warner Brothers can't touch. They have this spot in TV and film history to the point where I thought they would never um, they would never fold. But then here we are. Obviously, the highlight of the studio's output is clearly Bond, but that franchise does come with a caveat. You see, MGM only has half of the rights, with Barbara Broccoli's studio owning the other half, including creative control. So this wouldn't be like Disney buying Lucasfilm and doing whatever it wants with Star Wars.
With that said, just having all those other titles and production rights is enough to get the attention of everyone in Hollywood. And if you're someone like Apple, who is struggling to make Apple TV Plus a thing, especially with this microscopic library of titles, including purchasing MGM, could be the instant boost that is needed for added legitimacy. And just a few years ago, MGM and Apple were in talks about a purchase, but that fell through. Hmm. With that said, there's no real way of knowing where MGM might go, but with available studio libraries hard to come by. Don't be surprised if the company gets snatched up quickly. Wow. Another studio getting ready to be bought out, trying to see who's going to be willing to pay 5.5 or probably more to acquire the rights of all these franchises. Boy, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this year I make a motherfucker's head spin. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys surprised that this is happening? Uh, would you like to see Disney buy up MGM or maybe Warner Brothers buying them or fuck it, even Apple TV Plus? Hmm. Or would you just like to see MGM try to tough it out and, you know, just keep their own brand and name and don't even worry about trying to merge or being bought out by anybody me my own personal opinion i think mgm could stand on his own it might need to adapt to what's going on with you know with streaming and everything else but i don't think they should be bought out because once they do they lose their identity in pop culture you know i mean they'll always be known as mgm but being bought out it changes the whole game it's like look at what happened to fox yeah, look at what happened to Fox. Enough said. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.